Only two people have the patience and the persistence and the constant uh, knocking on the door and stay with the customer, following through, to go from engagement through to skepticism, through to tolerance, through to acceptance, through to desire where they get the order. Today in the session uh, with the delegates, we're uh, talking about fit to fight in the setting up of geometric growth session of, of the masterclass. And fit to fight is really dealing with sales because businesses are run on margins and margin come from sales. So one of the frameworks is really the sales progression. And the sales progression um, talks about a hundred people start on and a sales opportunity, a big opportunity. At the point that they start at engagement, at the time they go to the point of where the customer is skeptical or reluctant, many of the salespeople, 60 of them will drop out, which represents 60%, because they mistake reluctance and skepticism with rejection. It's not a rejection, it's just that the customer is not convinced. He probably has objections or he has questions which need to be uh, tackled. So 40 are left. And by the time you progress to what we call tolerance, so at this point in time, the customer is taking your calls, but he's not 100% there yet. So, and at this point in time, another 30 of the salespeople drop out. So 90 have dropped out, it's only 10 left at the point of tolerance. Then comes acceptance. So the customer has made up his mind to give you the opportunity of this engagement. But because it's taking such a long time, you are nowhere to be found for him to give you the purchase order. And he cannot chase you. Lo and behold, after the 10 people that were left, eight people drop out at acceptance. The customer wants to give them this business. It could be a tailor. It could be a caterer. And they want to, but you are not there because you probably lost patience and left. So by the time it gets to desire, there's only two people left that will then get the order or the purchase order. And that's the typical scenario in any sales progression. Only two people have the patience and the persistence and the constant uh, knocking on the door and staying with the customer, following through, to go from engagement through to skepticism, through to tolerance, through to acceptance, through to desire where they get the order. And it's not that the customer has rejected those other 98. They rejected themselves. How strong are you? How long is your patience? And how much do you follow through? Come and attend the Also Leadership Academy. You cannot miss fit to fight if you really want to grow your sales. Thank you.